the lord has given everything and lord has taken everything either way blessed be the name of the lord he is a perfect fit for my life i started my career from nagarkovil settled in chennai and with enough turbulence in my career but every time lord gave me refuge with his blessings we are alive today i my family is of eight i am the eldest four sisters and three brothers my father is a mason and became a contractor and he made all of us to study well my mother used to be a prayer warrior people used to call her as nandi yesuve which means thank you jesus she always used to tell for everything thank you jesus nandi yesuve after completing the course of chartered accountancy with my uncle's persuasion i have started a career and started my own practice life goes on well and after marriage blessed with a wife kala and two children my son and daughter doing their studies well i was successfully continuing my practice and in between i have decided to revive a sick unit at trivandrum a government joint sector company and i have started mobilizing all my resources and everything to the company and I shifted my family to trivandrum there started the trouble because of mobilization of more funds from the market and the scheme the revival scheme was not successful and it was sadly the results were not came and it affected everywhere those who supported us the money mobilized as capital has to be returned we were not able to do anything when the things were in the worst scenario i felt i have left the land of canaan which god gave to me and like a prodigal son i have left everything and did a wrong thing which affected the entire family due to own house and car and all the facilities in chennai our position in trivandrum reduced to the level of eating ration rice to the house we have to carry the life with that every month we need to borrow huge money to maintain the company to pay salary for 150 employees and other things at the end rumors were spread that whether uh, i am not alive like that and even the institute of our institute cancelled my certificate of practice all these things affected myself and the family very much at that time people suggested as to attend the retreat at pota divine center and during 2003 easter retreat we all four members of our family attended the retreat wholeheartedly Jesus always loved his own and he showed it to the full when he said to Simon Peter if i do not wash your feet you can have no part with me then said Peter to the lord 
Wash my hands, my head, and not my feet alone. No, my brothers, what I've done to you, Lord, you call me. It is what I am. If then I, your Lord, deign to wash your feet, you should do the same and wash each other's feet. There only. we have really god really touched us and the khaimas attended by father agustin valluron what happened on calvary was not a mere isolated historical event such tragic events happen all the time such events have happened to every one of us in our lives people have shrewdly plotted against us in in justice we also are condemned often those around us for their own reasons were bent upon misinterpreting the best of our intentions but what happened on the cross of calvary was the culmination of every such sin and pain in the lives of every one of us of everyone in human kind He gave strength every day in our life. When we recommenced our life after a great defeat. the retreat gave us a very big boost and we started we have catch hold of the cross of jesus in our daily life with prayer and worship we have started the career the magazines and the cd's which we have taken from cassettes taken from divine was the company for us in chennai for the for second life of our family during the turbulence time and in prayer my family my wife is a source of inspiration for me after reaching chennai she practically worked with us and to recreate our practice and we did that with the support of god and the family members we can our life in chennai even though the huge financial loss affecting every day's uh, progress and everything but god's grace we are able to face them very confidently and peacefully we are dealing with the people and god gave everything back to us the house car and the children are studying well and everything so we are when we were in trouble and we were undergone enough turbulence but now god placed us in a position with his prayer with god's support now we are able to help so many people in so many ways today i am able to face life because i am depend on the verses from the bible second corinthian chapter 4 verses 7 to 10 but we hold this treasure in earthen vessels that the surpassing power may be of the god and not from us we are afflicted in every way but not constrained we are perplexed but not driven to despair we are persecuted but not abandoned we are struck down but not destroyed always carrying about in the body of dying of jesus so that the life of jesus may also be manifested in our body in the midst of business and financial problems i have taken refuge in god and with the mercy of god we are leading a peaceful life now in chennai
God's plans were completely different than what we think. Praise the Lord. My name is Alvin Maxim. I'm basically from Mangalore, where I born. Now, at present, I settled down in charge. I got a wonderful father and mother. My father is a farmer and my mother is a double graduate on those times. The way they brought me up, such a beautiful way, how to live in the world, how to deal with the people, and how to be prosper in the life. So beautiful way they brought me up. And I learned wonderful lesson from my mom. She loves me a lot, even my father too. But I'm unfortunate because I lost my dad in my young age. When I was about five years old, daddy died due to some illness. Those times there was no proper medication. So in that case, he died. And mama brought us up and she gave us the beautiful life as well as education. And uh, really, I'm very sad to say, I don't have mother now, but still she is with me. I love her very much from the bottom of my heart. I'm a married person, married with uh, Celine, uh, who is uh, professionally, she's a staff nurse. And I have a son, his name is Aaron Clarin, who is a 15 years old. Since my marriage, we all are together in the Gulf. And till today, we are leading one of the best life in the Gulf. Feel like my own home country. Since my childhood has been brought up in a spiritual way, way by my mother, because she is one of the prayerful person. And since my childhood, she taught me how to pray, what is the importance of the prayer, and how to be a good human being. In that atmosphere, she brought me up, and I learned one of the best things in my life, to be a prayerful person. In 1993, I got married with Celine, and my mom, prepared for my marriage life in advance, well in advance. But God's plans were entirely different. Due to some illness, she could not stay back. And God's call, she has to answer. Before my marriage, before one month, she left me alone and went away. But she had promised me that, son, the day, the day I brought you to the world through my love, the same way you have to lead the life. Because I was so touched with mom's love and the affection, which I was not willing to continue my life. And I was finding difficulty to live in the world. I heard about Divan Riti Center. The day I heard about Divan Riti Center, my one dream was there. I had to reach there. my stubbornness, sometimes I feel, why should I so far, why should I have to go so far to pray to God? But God's plans were completely different than what we think.
day by day i was thinking still my mind was blocking me to go to the divine deity center the day all souls day which is comes once in a year and the day made me to visit my mom's storm which is in based in dubai and i went to her grave to pray for her and i remember and suddenly i was talking to my mom and i was so emotionally crying on of sudden i fell unconscious the moment i realized and i opened my eyes i was in the hospital actually i was not sure that i will see the world again but i am the one of the luckiest person where god saved me from my death actually it is not my part of my life but still god is give me second life where i had to complete his mission the time i open my eyes i can see in front of me the prayer group besides doctor as well as my wife and my son and my sister were crying for me due to the high expenses in the gulf which which is not affordable by us so my wife had decided to take me to india where the god's plans was just to me come to india so on of sudden they decided even doctor said don't delay and better you have to go earliest possible for the further test where you can clarify about your heart condition and that is the moment they decided and they brought me to for the medication to india finally i reached to india and straight away from the airport they brought me to the hospital my conscious and god was talking to me speaking to me saying that there is no need of any further test but still i had to obey doctor's advice and my thoughts my wife comes to know and she requested with the doctor doctor give me few minutes so i will i will tell you either to go next test or not so finally my wife decided she prayed and slowly went to the doctor before the doctor she came to me and said alvin i got a call from divan dt center to go to the one of the best doctor who is jesus christ and we have to reach immediately over there so she requested to the doctor saying that doctor we are not interested and in further test so please allow us to go what we thought and we got a divine call which is a plans of god and we reached to divine retreat center after a break of 3 days so finally i reached divine retreat center and one of my best experience spiritually where i was more comfortable other than the outside life so i started my prayer and i got experience so i attended the first mass then later i entered to the adoration which is conducted by father michael the bible would tell us so many people got healed because someone else asked for that intercession someone else made that intercession for them and that is why they were healed the man who was paralyzed brought to jesus the people would climb up on the roof and they would put him down in front of jesus jesus looked at their faith and said because of your faith this man is healed when martha and mary cried out to jesus that is when the resurrection of lazarus took place they interceded and their loved ones were touched the lord will touch if you have honestly declared the greatness of god his touch of healing is upon you and your family so i kept on praying and i was asking to god 
speak to me and i was talking to god so i felt god is talking to me and whatever the feelings i was telling to god and uh, asking the holy spirit to bless me my hell and uh, in the adoration so while we are praying the holy spirit is inspired for the michael and he has been called my name saying alvin has been cured from his sickness so that is the happiest moment in my life in divine retreat center i got a beautiful experience and the lesson how to pray how to read the bible and personally how to speak to god and what way god can speak to us in psalms 91 whenever you have difficulties you keep on reciting the same scripture and beautiful experience in the scripture by reciting this whatever the problems you have in your life and god will answer your problems and always keep reading the bible and the scripture recite on that meditate on scriptures so god always will help us how to lead our life whoever goes to the lord for safety whoever remains under the protection of the almighty can say to him you are my defender and protector you are my god in you i trust i went back to sharjah back to my work so always i had desire to visit once again because the day i came to divine retreat center and i had been blessed in my health wise and after the retreat i got a beautiful health where till today i didn't find any difficulties which i was facing previously so i like to give thanks to lord and i was thinking i have to visit again to divan retreat center but it was not fulfilled so i was thinking to come back to divan retreat center and there was many blockages which i was facing to find the tickets once the ticket was booked by without any reason proper reason got cancelled thrice then finally i made up my mind that i will visit and finally i booked the ticket and i came back to divan retreat center to thank thank lord after the retreat god is bless us in a wonderful way to us especially god is bless us in such a way where we had a big property dispute which has been solved secondly we had a desire and the dream open up a small in small scale scale business which has been blessed by god and we had we had a big amount of the loan which has been one by one getting sorted out and our lifestyle has been completely changed i had a desire to come back to give thanks to the lord and always i was dreaming and the dream has been fulfilled comes true god has his own plan to bring me to the divan retreat center